Good morning. Another day. I think we're on day six. Anyway, is it day six, Chris? Uh, yep. Yeah, day six. And uh, hopefully if everything goes well today, we're gonna be in the Murphy Point area and find some uh, discreet and legal camping spot. Uh, so that's our plan. Another beautiful day. Let's get at her. Here we are. We're at the, is it Circle K? Yep. Circle K Convenience. And this is where we're gonna be stocking up for food for the next three days. We have Tim Horton's breakfast sandwiches, which is a good way to start out the morning. We're loading up our backpacks with food from the Circle K, because it's closer than the grocery store, which is way in the other part of town. And uh, hopefully they've got good, delicious, bite-sized, wonderful things. <laughs> Pepperettes. Pepperettes. Uh, power bars, whatever. Anyway, that's our plan. We didn't need much in the way of food, so a corner store would suffice. So we decided to miss the grocery store altogether. The trails leaving Perth, heading towards Murphy's Point, uh, were gentle uh, and easy, quite enjoyable, and there was a lot of human history along the way. Right now, Chris and I are hiking through a farmer's field, a little mucky here. Uh, but the good news is, if I read the map right, we won't, we won't see another road walk for another three days. No more asphalt. Chris, you liking that one? Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, both Chris and I do not like the road walking. In the first, <laughs> first four days, there were a, far too many uh, asphalt road walks. Not good. But now, feeling good. Kudos to the Rideau Trail Association and all the fine workers who put together the trail. Uh, as we were hiking along through this marshy area, we found there were all these boardwalks. And, and just after one ended, another one started, and another one ended, another one started. It seemed to go on forever. Uh, well done, well prepared, and they were excellent to walk on. Thank you, folks. We are just approaching lunchtime, and we just looked at the mapping. And we think we can make it to the Narrows, which is a lock system and also managed by Parks Canada for tonight. So that's our goal. It's been, re been changed. That's what we're hoping to do. One good thing about there is it's a good place to kind of hang, relax, uh, clean, eat, or eat <laughs> and uh, even set up a tent. We're hoping. took this video of Chris trying to navigate across a beaver dam with a certain morbid um, curiosity, thinking that I didn't want to miss a fall into the beaver pond. I can point out Chris was slow and steady and did not get wet. Pretty cool. This area is known for its mica mining. I don't know how long ago, 100 years ago or so, they harvested a lot of mica through here. And then basically what they did was identified where it was, don't know how, and just dug a big hole in the ground and then pulled it out and brought it back to civilization. Not exactly sure what it was used for, but I understand something to do with electrical conductors or something like that. In any case, uh, you have to be careful walking through here. And uh, in some places, people from the trail or otherwise have put markers uh, around them to protect us from falling in. So if you're hiking the Rideau Trail between Perth and the Narrows, that's where they all are. 
Beware of the mic mines. Well, we made it to Murphy's Point and found a discreet, legal, and respectful place to pitch our tents. Day six was from Perth to Murphy's Point Provincial Park. <laughs> 